Happy you could come along again. I am joined by Greg Angert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group of Food and Wine Sommelier of the Year. The group includes where we are, Church Key, downstairs, Birch and Barley. In Georgetown, you have The Sovereign. You probably thought I'd never remember that name because I never do. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too. What do we have on tap this week? So this week we have a fresh uh, tap pour from the Vale Brewing Company down in Richmond, Virginia. Uh -huh. Some of our very close friends who make very small amounts of beer, um, though they have been shipping us some um, from time to time, which is great. This beer is called Swimming Pools. It is a triple IPA, 11.5% alcohol. Oh. Uh, they did this beer as a collaboration with a new brewery from uh, Denmark called Dry and Bitter, uh, a small outfit that is dedicated to making hop forward beers abroad, which is cool to see this American hop thing just continue to become more and more uh, popular overseas. And uh, yeah, so this is, a, this is swimming pools. Dry and bitter, so many potential jokes there, <laughs> but I should probably behave. And one of the cool things uh, about this beer is it's triple IPA, it's brewed with lactose. So more recently, Ooh, I like um, that. it's delicious, um, oh, wow. tempered, smooth, creamy, tons of uh, grapefruit qualities on the palate, lots of juicy orange, lemony notes, um, it's amazing, and like I said the lactose is milk sugar. It's a basic. It sweetens the beer, and it provides a, it provides some creamy mouthfeel, a nice um, balance to the bitterness of the hop, and a, a rich vibrancy on the palate. It's uh, really, really delicious. A little, little sweet taste at the end. Yeah, exactly. Uh, on, yeah. On the end. Uh... It's a way that you know we're talking about juicy IPAs. It's become the trend. You know, lots of haze. These are beers that are brewed with oats and wheat to give them that that rich mouthfeel uh, and some of the haze that you're seeing. Um, lots of uh, hops added at the end, so you get vibrant uh, hop aromas, less bitterness. And for some of these stronger ones, particularly, you're seeing brewers add vanilla or and or oftentimes lactose to promote more of that smooth richness and less of the bitterness you typically expect. So we've talked about this before with collaborations. Do the guys from Virginia go to Denmark or do the Denmark guys come to Virginia or do you do you necessarily have to be in the same In this room case I think it was in Virginia but yeah you a lot of it happens uh, over the internet you know it's a lot of emailing back and sure. forth you know um, and it's as with anything it's based on necessity you know so for instance this beer is brewed with um, three hops mosaic Enigma and Equinot. I'm sure that both brewers have particular passions for each of these hops, but it also has to fit into what hops are available at the time. What other hoppy beers are coming out from the Vale at that time, you know, so it all, you know, it has to work out uh, in that way. So it's not just a random, I should say. Um, and it's the cool, I love the idea that someone who maybe has never been to Europe or Scandinavia might go into the brewery the Vail, yeah, the yeah. Vail and have an interest sparked in visiting Denmark and vice, totally. vice versa, someone yeah. from Denmark coming over here. So Absolutely. That's very cool. It's very cool. And uh, this one's uh, about the hops for this, which is amazing. Mosaic is a hop we've talked about many times in the past. It's one of the most uh, famous and prominent new hops used in uh, IPA brewing. Um, lots of you know flavors from uh, tropical fruit to grass and pine, uh, even blueberry qualities come out. But Enigma is one of the, a newer hop from the Southern Hemisphere that's become more available recently. Uh, originally it was grown in Tasmania, now it's grown in Australia. And this is really cool hop because it has, uh, you know, some of that grapefruit and tropical fruit, some red fruit, but a lot of white wine qualities, Pinot Gris, uh, things like that um, as well. And then Equinot's been around for some time now, kind of dank and, and tropically fruity as well. So really cool, balanced beer. They're going to run out of hop names just as fast as they're know, the uh, beer names, running out of beer names. What would you pair this with? So one of the coolest things about where hops have gone and IPAs have gone is that they are not as bitter. So now we have something that's, while it's strong, rich on the palate, we don't have to worry as much about bitterness. So I think of lots of seafood that could go with this, like uh, meteor fish like tuna and salmon, mahi-mahi and snapper I think would be awesome with this, or even oily fish like uh, mackerel and trout, anchovies, things like that I think would work excellently. Or just something simple like uh, a holiday ham I think would stand up nicely to this. And and because it's winter time, beets, roasted beets are phenomenal with a big beer like this. Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Beer, it is the universal language. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly. 
and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another Beer of the Week.